MAC randomization, a good thing or a bad thing? Let's talk about it. Hey John, I, I heard you have a story about MAC address randomization. Yeah, I, I do, Ken. It, it, it's kind of an interesting uh, security and privacy thing that's the last couple of years we've started seeing with some of the operating systems and devices out there. You know, we, we think about the MAC address, you know, the Ethernet address of the, of the device, and it's, you know, your IP address changes all the time. Every time you change Wi-Fi, you go to a different place, your IP address changes and gets uh, updated. But your MAC address is generally pretty stable. It can be used in, in many ways to fingerprint a piece of hardware, or at least the, <laughs> the Ethernet card on on the hardware, and you know it's it, it's a useful mechanism to uh, identify you know the device. But but that's the downside, right? Too is if you're concerned about privacy, being able to say, okay, I see this MAC address, you know, at McDonald's, and then I see the next MAC address, and the same MAC address shows up on a Wi-Fi at Starbucks. Now I kind of know that that person went that route. You know, and, and I can start tracking maybe uh, if I have tools that, you know, at, at my disposal, you could even perhaps find if somebody is, you know, is physically in their homes or anything like that just by doing some kind of a sniffing that identifies the MAC address and, of course, knowing the MAC address. So, so the, some of the operating system vendors have taken this route of randomizing the MAC address so that when you know, uh, you connect here, it gets one Mac, and then when you go there, it gets another Mac. And, and that's that's a really good mechanism to limit, you know, and mitigate some of this uh, tracing that can be done uh, by MAC address. Privacy, so, which means privacy is great, but there's been a, a couple of recent issues that, with that, and, and, and it's all related to when applications and processes require the MAC address. So, so, for example, a couple of stories came out of uh, some Cisco VPNs, both for Android and, and Apple iOS, and, and the Apple iOS was the most recent one uh, with regards to the update to Apple iOS 14. Uh, Apple introduced uh, randomized Mac addresses into your, your iPhones and your other devices that Apple produces. Again, great on the privacy front. However, um, if you have a product like a VPN, it wants to maintain that connection to that device. So, so I'll give you a great example is if you are walking around, like let's say a job site and you're and your VPN in with your phone and you happen to change a tower or change a Wi-Fi hotspot, you don't want to have to re-authenticate into your VPN. It, 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 it defeats some of the purpose of having, you know, the mobile workforce that can go out and do things you know, as they're as they're walking around, if they're having to constantly reauthenticate and, and re-enter, you know, those those you know restart processes, whatever. Sometimes they're rebooting the device is the only way you can get around it. For these products that have like a VPN, that they they utilize the MAC address to try and figure out, hey, this guy's here. This is the person. He's already authenticated. I don't need to re-authenticate him, even though he's changed IP address as an example. But of course, if we have MAC randomization, guess what? <laughs> <laughs> now all of a sudden it thinks you're a new person, wants you to reauthenticate. So, so it, it introduced the challenges um, from a security perspective for authentication, but also for forensics, right? If, if you say, hey, I, I'm trying to look at this bad guy or, or even good guy, and I'm trying to say, where did he go? What did he do? Um, if you're tracking that device, maybe stolen device, maybe whatever, by MAC address, now all of a sudden you can't because it's going to change. So I, it's a challenge I think that we just have to address um, in the community and, and re recognize that that MAC address, which has always been a pretty you know, safe way to fingerprint a device, um, is not gonna be that way for much longer uh, with some of these updates. Hmm. So what can you do then? Because you, it sounds like the, the problem is still if you need to track a device across the network because it's been doing something bad, like if someone has somehow gained access to your network, um, you know, without permission, and you kind of want to know where that device was at a given time, then yeah, you do need a static Mac that doesn't change like that. But I also understand from the 
consumer side yeah. of things where I, I wouldn't want to be tracked across, say, public Wi-Fi. Um, <laughs> I wouldn't, you know, it's, if it's yeah. public, then I'm supposed to be there and it, it's not something I want people sort of snooping on. So, yeah, I understand that too. It almost makes me think of like a NatPat scenario with what we do with IP addresses and ports. Um, and then, so I was thinking, oh, maybe we could do this with the MAC address, but it would still, every time you go from one access point to another that's owned by another provider, um, you still have the issue of, I have to give up my actual MAC address to get the a new NATed one. Mm -hmm. So it, then the question becomes, at what layer do we do it at, or, or what provider level does it happen at? Well, for, for, for the, for the, you know, for the, I guess the good guys, you know, the guys that you really want to be have to do this, um, a lot of the vendors, and I, and I, and I, my familiarity is mostly with the mobile side, but still, I, I believe that this is the same situation with even the PCs. Is I think you can turn off randomization for your MAC address. It's a, it's a, it's a setting. So, you know, if it's on by default to be random. If you have this kind of mechanism, you know, where you need them to be able to move from place to place, you know, and without having to, uh, you know, to keep that sta static mat or MAC address, then especially like you said for a, a NatPat scenario, then, you know, you could probably turn that off for, for your workers, but you're not going to be able to do that just for the random, you know, person that, that walks through. Um, you know, you can't tell them, hey, you got to turn this feature off if you're going to be on my Wi Fi, for example. No. Um, Yes, so it's it, it's I think it's a challenge we're just going to have to recognize from our forensics and our and our and our security analysis uh, groups that we can't rely on the MAC address like we may have been able to do so. Yeah.